This is WWE Cult Fan here with another Blu-ray, DVD, and video game update showing all the DVDs and Blu-rays I got over the month of January. Of course, as I start with the DVDs, first one um, is a DVD-CD combo with Brad Paisley, Life Amplified World Tour, live from West Virginia. And it, uh, basically it's just a performance. I've already taken the CD out. Well, I better just might as well just leave it in there because it just fell out there. Anyway, it's a concert that he has at the University of West Virginia, which he's from the state of West Virginia. And, um, of course, the CD had some of the highlights. It didn't have the full program on there, but, uh, oh well. I had to struggle to get it shut, but oh well. And then the final DVD from World Wrestling Entertainment, we have TLC, Table Wires and Chairs, 2016, which of course, last Sunday they had the Royal Rumble. Now on to the Blu-rays from Warner Brothers, we have The Accountant with Anna Kendrick and Ben Affleck. Also from Warner Brothers, we have this uh, two-movie collection, which I got for like a little less than seven bucks, American History X and History of Violence. From uh, Lionsgate Summit Entertainment, I had a, um, watch this. I just recently watched this. This is a really good movie. Deepwater Horizon about the uh, BP oil spill. And the next movie I want to see from uh, Peter Berg, who directed this, is uh, Patriot's Day, which also has Mark Wahlberg in it. This next one uh, from Pure Flix um, is a really, really good movie. It is actually a t bit of a tearjerker. I'm not ashamed. It's the uh, story of Rachel. Joyce Scott. She was the first victim found during Columbine High School uh, shooting massacre. And this shows how she became a Christian just over a year before she was killed. And it's really, really tragic story. This next one, I honestly did not see myself getting at one point. But I figured, what the heck. The interview with James Franco and Seth Rogen. The movie that almost put us to war with, with North Korea. Yeah. This next one from uh, Paramount. We have Tom Cruise in Jack Reacher. Never go back. And this, co and this comes with it, but it comes with a book... A uh, Jack Reacher story with illustrations of Tom Cruise as Jack Reacher uh, called Everyone Talks. This movie I thought was mu a little bit better than the first one. The first one's kind of slow. This one's a little bit uh, faster. Uh, if I can get the boy. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it because I'm not going to keep the book with it. I'll keep the book, just not with it. Okay, this next one from Sony is another Tom Cruise movie. The 20th anniversary edition of Jerry Maguire. This was a Best Buy exclusive, and it came with the uh, soundtrack, which I went ahead also just taken out. Of course, this is famous for the "Show Me the Money" scene that he that he did, and he was nominated for Best Actor and winner of Best Supporting Actor for Cuba Gooding Jr. This next one I got at. Um, a place in Muncie, Indiana, called Dave's Video. For only five bucks, a Bruce Willis double feature, Mercury Rising and The Jackal, which in The Jackal he plays a rarity for him. He plays the villain. Now this next one released by Lionsgate is based on the true story of a ship that's named after my state capital of Indianapolis. Well, I live in Indiana. This state capital is Indianapolis. Well, anyway, 
USS Indianapolis Men of Courage with Nicholas Cage, Tom Sizemore, Thomas Jane. If you don't know your World War II history, the USS Indianapolis is the ship that delivered the Hiroshima nuclear bomb. And up until the 70s, of course, that was a classified story. But then, of course, in F I think I forget what year it was, but anyway, it was right before they started shooting the film Jaws. That's when the story got declassified, and Quint, fictional character, was supposed to be on the ship. And the final Blu-ray movie we have from M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong, as he should be called, The Visit. I got I just got this because I had some in store credit to use up. And I kinda wanna see the movie split because it's connected to one of those movies he did with Touchstone, uh, Unbreakable. And now on to the PlayStation three video games. First one we have Assassin's Creed. I only had the first game. Um Next, we have Battlefield 4, first of, the fran of that franchise I've gotten. EA's second answer to Call of Duty. And speaking of Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 2, And Modern Warfare. Yep, I now have all the Modern Warfare games. Now I just need Black Ops 3 to complete that story. Yep. I'm going to put the phone Sorry, I had to put the phone down, but finally we have WWE 2K17. I was a bit bummed by this one because uh, it didn't have the 2K showcase. That's what it's actually called. Um... Yeah, this I figured it would have the 2K showcase of Brock Lesnar, but no, it didn't. But, oh well, what are you going to do? Well, anyway, that does it for me. Until next time.